know we always invite you to our vlogs with the greeting of that country that we are in. So, Namaste everybody. Welcome to our home country, India. We are in Delhi right now, the capital city of our country. And quite honestly, this is also uh, one of our first real times here in this city. Uh, I've just been here once a very long time ago for transit. And, and I have been here once 15 years ago when I was studying in school. And I must say it has changed a lot. So uh, the reason why we're making this vlog today is because we wanted to document the remaining leg of our journey as we head home from Delhi all the way down south to Bangalore. Uh, many of you know that we are from Bangalore, a city in southern India and the most budget friendly way that we could find to get back home and avoiding flights was to get a train ticket. And so this train journey is for around two and a half thousand kilometers and it's going to take us around 34 hours. So we'll literally be sleeping two nights in the train. And until just two minutes ago, we were not even sure that we'd get tickets to ride on this. So we'll explain more of that when... <coughs> As you can see, my throat is really bad. Uh, we'll explain more about the ticket situation once her stood. So we'll explain a little bit more about the ticket situation once we get on the train. But uh, this is this was the intro and uh, now you're coming along on an Indian train. Are you excited? First a quick explanation of what the train station looks like. We are at Nizamuddin station which is one of the uh, two very popular stations here in Delhi. It's very very busy. There are like I think 8 or 10 lines here, platforms. And let me just show you real quick what that looks like. So you can see there's a Tejas train, it's a slightly premium train that's pulled up here and then there are tracks, two tracks that you see here and then a few more there and this is the overbridge where you do the crossing. Now Indian train stations don't really look, Indian train stations don't really look so similar to the other ones we've seen in Central Asia. So you will notice a couple of things up front, there are way too many people and things definitely look uh, a little more shabby but uh, it's it's very hard to keep something so clean when there are hundreds of thousands of people moving around every hour yeah. probably every couple of hours so it's well on the internet you might have seen pictures of indian trains with people sitting on the roof but that's not actually true as you can see the, the roof, roof is, is very much like normal like any other train so uh, we just wanted to break a bit of a stereotype thing that we've seen on the internet about Indian trains and hopefully we can do some justice and show you some of the more interesting aspects too. So but, uh, Before our train journey begins, the first thing and the most important thing we need to do is grab some snacks. Let's go. So they also have a lounge that you can check into for only about 10 rupees per hour which is 10 cents, less than 10 cents. Yeah which is less than like 15 cents for one hour of sitting inside an AC room. They also have a little snack store where you can buy some chips, some mixture, some peanuts, more cake and biscuits. And juices and biscuits and chips. In India, for any packet, any package food you see, the price of it is quoted on the packet itself and nobody will charge you more than that. So what items do you want now? I want chips, spicy chips. And Maybe a uh, creamy cookie. <coughs> Maybe some, some juice. Cold juice, cold, cold, cold juice. Cold juice for your floor? No. So we have just picked up a pastry snack. It's a paneer puff, so they will have paneer sabzi, paneer uh, mixed with some spices inside something like a roll, crispy roll. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Fresh from the oven. Okay, you want else? Yeah, butterscotch. Mm -hmm. Oh, butterscotch ka do there, na? Oh, butter. Okay, right now, sitting inside a railway lounge, it is about 10 rupees per person, and you can see up to one hour. There are just basic seats here and there's also facility of washroom. So I just went in and changed into comfortable clothes. And now we got our uh, puff heated up and we're having it. Mm -hmm. 
Our time in the lounge is over and we have to now get to the platform. This is what it looks like now. It's pretty dark. The sun has set. But on each of the platforms you can see a number of snack stalls. Okay, let's go get some more then. So, so this entire packet and it has lots of bed spreads and a towel and even a pillowcase. But you didn't explain why you're there. Okay, so we have a whole mess with the ticketing thing that's happened. Uh, we told you earlier that we were trying to check with the officers, but we still don't. So dinner is included in this ticket. So we have got a curd packet, some paneer curry, some dal, rice, aloo and bean sabzi, and two chapatis. And Navneet and I are sharing one, so it's waiting for me to finish. So she has just made her bed. And there's a pillow, here's a blanket and a comforter. And all of this comes in like a little package of this guy and then you get to put it all on layers and then you can sleep. I have my own little bag here too and here's my pillow. Hi. Thank you. 
breakfast mango juice brown bread no. some huh? butter some more biscuits and tea and something else is here cut Now everybody's having breakfast. <laughs> so on the Rajdhani and the Sultapti Express, you get these for morning tea, breakfast, evening tea, lunch, dinner. So you have a variety of options, and all this is included in the ticket. Now we will have a ride at Nagpur Station. And our friend wants to buy something, so I'm just going along with her. There's a snack stall there, some fruit. Such a busy station. Fresh food is being loaded onto the train. <laughs> This is what the toilet looks like. This is the western one. Just like in the airplane, there's a vacuum sort of set up. You press this button and everything just goes. <coughs> there's a window here, but it's completely washed out so nobody can see and then they have soap. And then water. Well, it's lunch time again. We've got three chapatis, two types of curries, dal, rice, and curd. Now, Neet was sleeping finally on a flat surface after a very long time. And as you can see, these guys are enjoying their meal too. Good morning guys, our train reached almost one hour before the scheduled time and now we just uh, came out of the railway station, crossed the road and now we are at Majestic, we just hopped on our bus and this will take us home. So we have no clue what's to come in the next few weeks and if we will travel another season 3. So I guess you'll just have to wait and stick around in this channel and then you'll find out soon. <coughs> so thanks you guys for coming with us on this season 2 adventure and we'll see you hopefully in the next one. Okay, first a little explanation of what the train. Okay. In India, any I'll not tell them. Lord cold. So in India, usually if you want in India for any packet, any package food.